This question is an easy GMAT problem solving question. It's a sample question in computing percentage profit and percentage loss. Classify this question as a 600 level question. If the cost price of 20 articles is equal to the selling price of 25 articles, what's the percentage profit or the percentage loss made by the merchant? We don't have the cost price, we don't have the selling price, but you have a relationship between the cost price of 20 to the selling price of 25. Multiple ways of solving this question. I'm going to pick an easy method and I'm going to pick a method which is very intuitive and we could get the answer in about two to three steps. I'm going to solve this method by assigning a value. I'm going to assign the value for the cost price of one article. I'm going to take a very easy number. That let the cost price of one article be $1. So cost price of 20 articles is equal to $20. The question says that selling price of 25 articles is equal to cost price of 20 articles, which we computed in the last step to be equal to $20. So now we have selling price of 25. We have cost price of 20. It actually will be easier if we can get the selling price and cost price for the same number of articles. So what shall we do? Let's keep this as is. Let's quickly find out the cost price of 25 articles. The cost price of one article is $1. Cost price of 25 articles is equal to $25. Now in this step, I have cost price for 25. In this step, I have selling price for 25. Profit made on selling these 25 articles is SP of 25, selling price of 25 minus the cost price of 25. Selling price of 25 is $20 from this step. Cost price of 25 is $25 from that step. So 20 minus 25 is a negative 5. So the merchant ends up making a negative $5 as profit, which means the merchant has made a $5 loss. Quickly summarize up till this point before we go to the step of computing the percentage profit or percentage loss. So if a merchant sells in such a way that the cost price of 20 articles is equal to the selling price of 25 articles, the merchant will make a loss. Here are those values. We assign the value of cost price of one article to be one. So cost price of 20 equals $20, which is going to be the selling price of 25 articles. Cost price of 25 articles is $25. So profit made is selling price minus cost price, which is negative, which means the merchant has made a loss of $5. What we need to compute is a percentage loss. Percentage loss is loss upon cost price into 100. What's the loss? We computed it to be $5. And what's the cost price? Cost price is $25. So 5 upon 25 into 100 is the answer, which is equal to 20%. Merchant makes a 20% loss. Choice C is the correct answer to the question. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.